Hey guys, uh, just thought I'd show you my cereal. I kind of lost my video that I did for this, but shredded wheat squares. I put raw oats in here. I put uh, strawberries, blueberries, sliced banana, and I even put hemp hearts in there just to get some extra protein. Hope you like that. Hey guys, it's Will. All right, so this morning I had cereal. I'll uh, show you that, but um, for lunch I'm having a burrito now. I did a workout, a full body workout, so I do three times a week, every other day, give myself a chance to rest in between, and uh, mostly compound movement. So probably burning a bit more calories than normal. And I'm also gonna do some walking and, and that, maybe some jogging um, on days off or even after the workout. So, um, and because of the weight training, even though I don't worry about protein that much, there is a chance that you know the, the protein will be fairly low if you if you eat like especially rice and potatoes. Um, they have one percent or so. So if you saw my discussions with David Goldman, registered dietitian, um, one of the ways that you can get a bit more protein is to eat beans, legumes, chickpeas, pinto beans, black beans, um, you know all sorts of stuff even oats, wheat, uh, bread actually has quite a bit of protein as well. So anyways, first thing you want to do is probably get a whole wheat uh, tortilla wrap. Now, Ezekiel is probably one of the best, healthiest ones. They're a bit stiff, so you probably want to steam them a bit just to soften them up. But um, see what you can do as far as what's available in your local area, with the, in the bakery area, whatever that you have. Um, if they do put a bit of oil, it's probably pretty minimal and, and it lets it be a bit more flexible. So even though it's a no oil diet, that's like mostly pouring oil into, uh, you know, stir fries and, and, and a lot of oil in restaurants and in hidden in various canned goods. So personally at this point, I wouldn't worry if they're, you know, if you have to get a tortilla, it's not like there's tons of oil in it, but, um, Ezekiel Breaded whole wheat, uh, whole grain is probably the best way to go. If you want to do a lazy approach, like you can actually cook up a whole burrito content with like fried onions and green peppers and all that. But if you want to do a bit of a lazier approach, um, and of course you can put a lot of things in a burrito. So this isn't like a exact recipe or what you should follow exactly, but one of the key ingredients is going to be some kind of pinto beans so you can create you know cook your own beans mash them up you can buy canned beans or different options here but in Canada we have this um, refried pinto beans and I showed it in my uh, last video on my grocery haul this is um, got Pinto beans, water, jalapeno, peppers, green chili peppers, salt. So if you are watching your salt, um, sometimes you might want to make your own or find a low salt or no salt version. Now calorie wise, this is 230 for uh, 250 milliliters. This is for about 400 milliliters, so um, not quite double. So it's in the range of not even probably 400 calories. So you can eat a whole can with some other stuff and it's not even going to be that big a deal. So um, I've got corn and then I've got some leftover basmati rice. If you have ground rice, that's great. Um, salsa, extra chunky. This is what I like, President's Choice. It's hot. I'm not, I might actually throw in a, a bit of guacamole as well. If you're trying to lose weight, you might want to uh, minimize that or avoid it. But when I lost the weight the first year, I did it at a slow, continuous pace, and I still ate some fats, some yod guac and some peanut butter here and there. But if, if you have certain problems you know, with controlling the amount that you put on or if you're snacking a lot on nuts and peanut butter, then it's probably not a good idea. But... Um, I've been doing this for four and a half years, and especially with the weight, like muscle building. Um, 
and like I said, I don't eat tons of guac every day or anything like that. So, so anyways, I'm gonna my, I'm gonna cook the uh, microwave the corn, heat up the rice, and I'm gonna warm up the, the beans, and then um, and then we'll go from there. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so I microwaved the corn for a couple of minutes. I added the rice, which was in the fridge, so it wasn't like frozen. Um, and then I put the refried beans all in the bowl, and I just um, microwaved it for a couple, for another um, minute or so. And um, so I've got my tortilla, got the refried beans mixture, with, and then I topped it with salsa and some guacamole. So I put it a little bit closer to one side. I probably put too much in this, but um, so it's a little bit you know closer to the one end of the tortilla. And um, then I fold this pie over. This is going to be tricky. So then I push this over and I smush that in and roll it like that. So it's, that's it. Probably put a little bit too much in there. It makes it a little bit harder to. And then I still got some refried beans here. These are really, really filling. Um, but I'll just have that on the side. So I'll just scoop this here. And um, I'm not sure if I'll eat this whole thing, but I probably will because I'm hungry after my workout. But, and then you can put some more salsa and guac on there if you want. Hope you guys like that. That's my burrito. And um, for dinner, I'm gonna have rigatoni. I had it yesterday, leftovers, rigatoni. So like in, in a tomato sauce. So I may show that after, but if you wanna, like what I eat in a day, it's basically cereal, shredded wheat, some oats, non-soy milk, fruit, non, um, sorry, non-dairy soy milk, unsweetened, um, fruit and everything. And then I uh, have this and Probably pasta for supper. So, hope you guys like that. We'll talk to you later. Hey guys, so continuing on with the what I ate today video. I, uh, I haven't eaten supper yet, but I'm going to have this leftover rigatoni. And um, it's really good. What I do is I fry up onions and garlic and green peppers. That's kind of the base. Throw in some frozen kale or spinach, you know chopped up or you can use fresh spinach whatever and that shrinks up and that's kind of the base a little bit of water if you want in the uh, in the pan and then um, for the sauce I use crushed tomatoes a big can I use a can of tomato paste and a can of fire roasted tomatoes put in some Italian spice if you want to put a bit of heat you can use red pepper flakes and um, and that's and then I cook that for a while and obviously the rigatoni you can use different types of pasta but um, yeah that's my pretty much my what I eat today and um, hope you guys like this just want to help you out with ideas and stuff but it's really simple and tasty stuff so hopefully you don't stress out too much I just provide this uh, videos so you know I can just show you what I eat. It's been four and a half years or so now and uh, it's just steady as she goes. Really amazing comfort foods and and hopefully this gives you some help and guidelines on what you can eat too. All right guys, let me know what you think. Um, like and comment, share this video and any of my other videos. Um, I'm also showing workout videos in the summer, spring. I show some gardening videos, how to grow your own veggies. Um, and uh, I've got a couple of ebooks. A potato strong recipe guide all my recipes are put into a convenient book pdf for uh you know printing or viewing on a tablet and um there's also a starch plus diet guide which is all my best advice on getting lean on a starch based diet and also um, some enhancements that if you want to make uh, once you get a handle on this and and get lean some changes and tweaks that you can make to your to the diet so hope you guys like that talk to you later So here we have dips. I'm doing weighted dips with 50 pounds. So I'm going pretty heavy here. I do a bit of a warm up to get to this point. So I'll do body weight, then 25, and then I'll get to 50. And I'll do probably three sets of this. And um, 
I'm doing a full body routine as I've mentioned in the past. So I start today with chest and we'll go to back next. So here I'm doing chin ups. I was kind of sore from last workout, uh, even though I took an extra day. And uh, so I'm just using body weight here. And if you want, you can do some negatives after, which is just lowering yourself down if you, uh, if you can't make it. So hope you guys like that. See you later.